The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. And welcome to New Expressions with a different little twist, with a little different little spin today. We're actually broadcasting from what is going to be our new home. Uh, I should know the address. 1612. Dyer Crescent, West Gosford. Um, it's our appeal launch week, although I know it actually starts the very 1st of November. We thought we'd leave it till this weekend so we can get the place a little spruced up a bit and open the doors for anyone who wants to come in from here to Sunday. You can wander in here. There's parking out front, parking on the street, parking around back. 16 to our Crescent. We really would like for you to get here. Now, this whole month, good morning, Craig. <laughs> Good morning, Yeah, sir. we're here too, you know. Yes, good morning, mate. <laughs> this no is awesome. Isn't it nice? This is so completely awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, we've got the outdoor broadcast system set up in the middle of the foyer mm. uh, in, in the new site, and I just had a quick wander through with general manager Rick. Yeah. Uh, shown us around and got a little look at the the new space that yes. we have been trusting God for His provision Amen. on for it seems like forever. It's only you know major twelve months that has yes. been the big um, the big thrust of we need to relocate to a more suitable facility. And so sixteen Dyer Crescent, I know that because you sent me a text. I did. That said, this is where we're going. It's my very first time in the building, mm-hmm. and I've got to say I love it. You can do a range of things in here, man: and pool, ping pong, bowling. <laughs> Indoor cricket. <laughs> Putting green can go in here. This is very nice. So, but that's the whole thing we're talking about here, things that we could do. You know, fast forward into the, into the future. If a school wanted to come in, do a, a tour, but then have a book reading, this is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. You could do that. You could absolutely. set up right here and yep. do that. It will be a big screen there. You can see inside the studio. It's, it's, the designs and plans are well down the track, and I'm sure they'll change because I'm sure we'll keep coming up with new stuff. But I saw new stuff. I saw you guys have got allocated on the map, oh, on, the, yeah. on, the, on the plans, a Zoom room. Sorry, yes. here we are. We're just well into conversation. I have to introduce uh, to our listening audience the kingdom giant, pastor of all pastors, most amazing, Pastor Tony Ray from Grace <laughs> Church, Wombo. Well, well, what an introduction. Is absolutely. <laughs> Hello uh, to everybody. You know, um, when, when we thought uh, it's time to, to have conversation mm. uh, on air, um, during our appeal week and particularly our appeal month, but launching from the new studio site, uh, Rick says, oh, can we please have Pastor Tony Ray come in? Because <laughs> yes. you are such a good friend of the studio, of, of, of the station of Rima, yes. and your church has been so supportive of um, the ministry of Rima and have walked you know, so closely with all the um, people in the body of Christ in this mm. region. And it was like, yeah, that's a perfect fit. Yeah, and, and you postponed an engagement to be here. I think you were supposed to be in Vegas or something. Did you have a oh, well, 55 <laughs> show event or something like that you had booked there? That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, oh, don't <laughs> And so the Learjet has been diverted That's to some right. other. He said, don't make me laugh. Bring me back. Bring me back. I'm doing that. I've flown in specially from, no, I've driven in from Greenpoint. So, uh, all the way in from Amen. Greenpoint this That's morning. Right. Pastor Tony Ray. Yes. Hey, how about being here? Yes. This is cool. Oh, it's amazing. It's place. nice. Wow. Yeah. It's you know. nice. I mean, it's, it's amazing now without yeah. all the developments yeah. that are going to happen. I mean, yeah. it's still pretty much an empty shell, but this is bigger than where my church meets. You can. <laughs> <laughs> You can, hey, you, an idea. <laughs> you can see it. You could actually do it. You can see what you can do here. And yeah. the funny thing is, you're in here. There is an upstairs. Yes, we heard it. It's about not that. fully developed yet, but I'm not, I'm not sure they put the stairs in to get back up there. The but attic. What are we going to find in the I attic? I don't know. <laughs> Bones from presenters from the past. I don't know. <laughs> so, but here it is. And like we said, the doors are open. Come on in. And you can actually come in and sit around and actually look at this broadcast. Because we're not actually in the, the, the section where the studio is going to be. We're out in the hallway. So come on in. 16 to our request. And if you can't make it in, please do donate. We need you to help us get there. This whole month is for that. Four three six seven forty. 42. We actually have two people on the reception desk, and they have room. See that? Look at that. They, they've it. got room. Yes. They're, they're not sitting on top in. of each other. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed the office manager, Pete's also tucked away in one of the office spaces. One of them. Well. I don't want to know what, what, where that office is. Yeah, you don't need to know about that, I suppose. <laughs> I don't want to ever find my way to that office. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's such a privilege to be here, and it's, it's such an, a great space. Yes, I mean, it is. most people will know West Gosford. It's like you know, that's that's a, a you know a space that we can readily identify. Mm-hmm. We, Tony and I, Pastor Tony and I, were just having a coffee over at Riverside, just over the road. That's it. I couldn't just, think of the name. Where yeah, you were, yeah, yeah, Riverside. So, like you know, you might be wanting to duck in for a coffee. We'll pop over the road to to Dyer Crescent because you'll get a good look in the new space. And that's like, right. Just right across the road. A hoot. Amen. Right on the corner. So Rima.cc, RV, the app you can give. We'd love for you to support us. We'd love for you to pop in and have a look at the place and support the vision, but also see where your money's going. Because I know that the boss man has a whole slew of plans uh, set out to use this place in the community. It's just not for us. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be talking about that oh, over the weekend. That's what we are talking about before yeah. on the plans. Uh, they've planned a Zoom room. Mm. Did you see that? There's all sorts of the things that are on development here. Yeah. Lots of things that outside groups can use. I yep. think what a brilliant exactly. idea. I don't yes. think I've ever, like, this is the day and age that we're in now, right? Mm. Like, who ever heard of Zoom pre-COVID? But here we are, and, and everything's online now, and there's lots of communications, meetings, business mm. plans. Yeah. And, and you guys have factored that into the actual yes. design of the building, yeah. the Zoom room. Yeah. And you so, need to use it? Book it? Come on over. How good's that? Yeah. Yeah, it's and it's a whole it's lot more. Brilliant. So, uh, but that's that's for the boss to unravel as he sees fit over the weekend. But Oops. I'm going to push him as much Oops. as possible. Well, there's more than that. Did I say no? No, I was more. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to push him more than that to talk about what he would like to have for this place. This isn't just for us, and nor was that the vision yeah. to actually get this place for us. It's everything we do. It's about community, yeah. and because this place this place has more space than we had actually ever, uh, you know, dreamed of. You know, Ephesians three twenty. Thank yeah, you very much. How do we use it? And what yeah. do we use it for? Yeah. Yes, we can right. fit ourselves in here, which when you see these things in here, our, our, our studios, you know, it's yeah. big enough for us, but I wouldn't want bigger. But <laughs> hearing the plans, you know what? <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's do that yeah. and bless the community. Yeah. The blessing yeah. of those who bless you. So um, it would be good to hear more about it. But anyway, our guest, Tony Ray, we got to spend some time talking about you, don't we? Yeah. I mean, you cancel all those, me, <laughs> cancel those shows hey, and make to be here. <laughs> listen, we, we were having coffee early, and uh, and um, in, in the conversation, Pastor Tony, you were, you were lit up basically because there's some really, really exciting stuff going on where you guys have relocated, I suppose is, I don't know if that's the right word, because you've always had a presence at the Banksy mm. Centre in um, Bato Bay, Bay. Yep. yeah, but... Um, but now that's kind of the the hub of activity mm. in the Banksia Centre, and so you, you can't actually. It's hard to sort of understand where where Grace Community Baptist Church in Wombrel is, and where the community is, mm. and where the line is, and where because it's just this great big space of community mm. where the church is just manifesting the kingdom of God within the context of community, mm. and yep. that is an exciting day. It is. Yeah, it's been great for us. It's a real learning experience, but, um, yeah, it's been excellent. Got a community yeah. centre that's basically gone, you guys can use it. Yeah. Exclusively. Well, I it's must, yours. Ooh, yes. nice. I must thank the council that, um, yeah, they've enabled us to, to be the exclusive users of that whole property. It's not big. It's small. In fact, it's too small. However, God uses things. You yes. Know, <laughs> we had one of our leadership team uh, pray, pray as we were contemplating moving into it that it would be like the TARDIS. And so this is, oh, you know, that wow. if we yeah. could walk inside that building yeah. and all of a sudden it's a whole lot bigger, you know, then it would be like Rima here. Amen. You know, this, <laughs> yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. You know, and, and look, the fact is that it, it'll, it'll provide what it needs to provide for us as yeah. a congregation to be able to do the calling that God's put on us. Yes. Um, and I'm a big believer in that God puts callings on individual congregations and there's no need to try and model it off everybody else and... God delivered me from all that stuff back in 1999. You know, and I, I thankfully realised it didn't have to be anybody else except me in ministry. Yep. And Grace Community doesn't have to be any, any other congregation except Grace Community. So good. So you know, good. And just, and just be, sense and be the people that God wants us to be in the area that we find ourselves. Now, that Amen. doesn't mean we ignore the people where we live or where we work or where we go to school, yeah. but where we gather for church and we gather for other things... Um, we need to get a sense of what's happening around us. Yes. And, and a lot of that has started to take place. And just some, I shared some lovely stories, you know, 
people just wandering the streets, you know, advertising some things that we are starting to provide to the community, but we haven't advertised because we're just practicing at the moment. Yeah. But, you know, people went wandering the streets and dropping things in letterboxes and then having conversations with people in their front yards. Yeah, wow. Some lovely, lovely connections there. You know, a, a lady came in, I, I shared this story, a lady came in the, during this week looking for some bread. Now, Central Coast Outreach Services, our charity, doesn't do food anymore. But, but we were open on Thursday yesterday. We have a little drop-in morning tea, free, free morning tea, cafe yeah. type thing. And um, another community centre, some of their coordinators lobbed in because mm. they, they heard we were open. So some communication, I wasn't in that communication, but some communication happened there that said, oh, yeah, no, we do food. Send them over to us for food and we'll send them to you for various you other things. So we were delighted with that. But a lady had come in before the cafe. This was on the Monday. And we didn't have any bread to give her. But I said, look, I'm really happy to go over and we're next to the IGA in Cresthaven. Yeah. I'd love to buy you some bread. She said, no, 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 that's not a problem. But in, in the conversation there that probably took half an hour, um, she'd had double knee replacement, she'd had some challenges with her family, there were all sorts of issues. But I just said, look, can I pray for you? And she said, I would love that. And so I prayed for her. They're outside the Banksy Center. Yeah. And, and the conversation continued on. When it ran, every two, three or four steps, more of the story came out. I was able to pray for another time because she was showing me her double knee replacements. And, and, you know, I said, you know, I'd love you to get more freedom in that sort of thing. So can I pray for those knees? And she was very open to that. You know, and she was going through some real struggles. You know, and when I mentioned, you know, I asked to pray for her, she, she was honest. And she said, look, it feels like, you know, God's making it a little bit difficult for me at the moment. But boy, this lady had had some faith revelations in her past. Because she followed it up by saying, but nothing like, what I'm going through is nothing like what Jesus went through on the cross. Mm. And I thought, wow. I said, yeah, you're right. That's not to diminish that she's going through some real challenges yeah, yeah, in her, her life and her family. Saying. Yeah. But it was just a privilege to be able to talk to this lady. And I mm. said, look, come back. And if you see a vehicle out the front, it's probably one of ours. Come and knock on the door and come in and have a coffee or a tea or whatever. And we're getting more of that drop-in type thing. And we don't advertise that we're a church. You know, church meets there on a Sunday morning mm. and we tell people that that's a fact. Mm. Uh, but the other things that take place out of there are just a bunch of people that are trying to interconnect with the community, love the community, share Jesus, and God is beautifully opening up things. We, like I said, you know, we had these some more connections yesterday. Amen. Just, just conversations yeah. with people walking past the banks here, yeah. and walking their dogs. I'll tell you a really significant one in, in maybe in a break. I'll, I'll share with you when we're offline so that you think it's okay. Okay, um, yeah. But a beautiful story yeah. about a lady that I'll share. All right, we'll talk about that off air. But, I'm, I, you know, it's, it's a testament of how big God is. Mm-hmm. I don't care how small of a place you're in mm-hmm. or how small of an entry you have. Mm-hmm. The moment the doors open up, a big giant God just opens up and he walks in there. Mm-hmm. Like that lady probably didn't know that, you know, she was talking to Tony Ray. Yeah, well, we right. know who you are. That's no, right. We That's know who right. you are. God That's knows who you are. Thing, God knows who you are. Yeah. And he had you at the right place to talk to that lady. Why? So good. Because you were the one mm. for that appointed time. Yeah. And he had you Amen. right there. And what she needed, you had. And you delivered. Yeah. That's the good thing about you. You've got seeds all around this coast. I mean, it's it's a, it took me forever it's to true. meet him. <laughs> I kept hearing. I mean, I, think it, I don't know if I... I don't know how far this back was. I think it was probably a year and a half, maybe almost two years before I finally met you. Mm. But I'd heard your name from day one. Yeah. And I was to the point that this guy doesn't exist. He's, <laughs> he's a miss because if he was this whatever, I would have met him by now. He'd have been in here. It took me forever to meet you. And I remember you walking in and thinking, shaking your hand, I thought you were a miss. <laughs> didn't I know? But the grace you carry. You know, the, the grace you carry in it in, 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 and the mantle you walk in is absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know how many Sorry. pastors would actually move from one place to a smaller place and thrive there. Yeah. You know, I don't know how many. Th- I mean, they eventually would, but they probably have a period of, I don't know, mourning, <laughs> like why, God, why, but not you. Okay. Well, well yeah. you, you might have had the thought for, mm. for a fleeting second. I mean, the devil's not stupid. He's going to throw something at you. Yeah. But you're big enough and been in this long enough to know that there's a purpose and a job to be done. And while I'm here, I'm going to do what needs to be done and get involved in the community. And God is creative enough and powerful enough yes. to use whatever 
we are able to avail ourselves of and offer to him. Amen. said this to Craig this morning. Sometimes we serve up some rubbish, you know. But <laughs> Say that again. Yes. Sometimes we serve some, up some what? Some, some rubbish. rubbish. Yes, yes, I agree. Sometimes the church serves <laughs> absolutely up some absolute agree. rubbish. Yes, yes. But by the grace of God, and he loves the church so much That's that right. God will work at trying to bless anything he can. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, that's yeah. not an endorsement on what we serve up, mm. but God's power and God's grace and so God's good. love is so much bigger than what we yeah. give him credit for. Mm. That's right. That, that, you know, we think what we serve up is great all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. By the gra- and that's by the grace of God. That <laughs> yes. He blesses and he does things Get through us, that. and we say, well, it must be good. Well, yeah. I don't know. The grace of God is good. Mm, the yeah. love of God is good. Yeah. I don't like how sometimes we try to fit God into our world because mm-hmm. yeah. our world is so much smaller than his. Mm. Okay. Just mm. don't do that. Yeah. Fit his. Mm. Come in. The sign's not in here that we have in the studio, but it, it reads, be prepared to let God invade your show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Be prepared to let God invade your life because he will enlarge it so much more than you could ever imagine. Invade your church. That's, you that's right. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that I could have bumped into that lady and she could have been talking about her knees and I would have hung in there for a little while. <laughs> I would have. But that's God knows that's that's not where you are. Evan. <laughs> I need this servant, not you. You can deal with that guy and I'll have him deal with that. And that's not saying I wouldn't have cared for her. I would have probably done a really good job. But God's thorough. <laughs> so he's thorough. I, I love I love the faith community that you lead. Mm. I, I love Grace Church. I I love you know some of the saints that you have walking with you in that place. Are, are the most beautiful. missional, most prophetic, mm. most um, you know humble and 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 genuine worshippers of Jesus. Mm. Yeah, and and I have the privilege of walking with some of those in different contexts mm. across mm. the world and even here in the Central Coast. And uh, no wonder the Lord's trusted you with a resource on the Central Coast. You know, that's actually a, a, a government-owned resource. It's a, mm. you know, it's a, it's a local community center, and, and God's opened a door there because I think um, the, the doors open because there's people with hearts who genuinely love the community, mm. who love to serve in the community, and yep. and you start to see that happen. That's yeah. a, that's a good day. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Let's go to a song and let everybody just uh, relax and absorb that conversation. And let me remind you again, we're broadcasting from 16 Dwyer Crescent, West Gosford, uh, which is going to be our new home. Doors open now. Staff running around. I don't know what they're doing, but they're running around. we got the hey, room hey, to do that in hey, here. Hey, hey. And Lee's been cooking. That's Yes. Yeah. Leanne's been cooking. Yeah, Leanne's been there cooking. Is, there's food oh, here. Believe, <laughs> yes. I've seen it. I've seen it. I, I'm going to go, go to this break because I've got to get myself over to the morning tea table. Amen. We just want to say. <laughs> yeah, that's for us. Yeah, that was it? for us. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate and that. Can you... For, for my bride as well, you know, she's a big, mm. big Mike Marshall fan. Yes, you know, and, and, and I, did I not mention that? I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. Yes, and 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 so, Danny. so are the guys at C Three Narara. They busted Ooh. that out now, um, back in the day, and well, you know, a few months back when we first brought it back from mm. the US, and uh, and we had a combined worship night. It was it Thursday last week, and their team just lit up. Amen. It was unbelievable. Um, uh, is it Bethany Cooper? I think is their worship leader there now. Um, Chris and Ruth, uh, Pastor Chris and Ruth. I get at Narara, C three Narara, C three Narara, and she had such a such an anointing, a corporate regional anointing to Ooh, worship. It was amen and brilliant. amen. It was brilliant. Been a big couple, you know, big couple of weeks, but a big week in, as well. We had uh, Pastor Tony Ray with us from Grace Church and. Um, we were together last Thursday with a, mm. a group of other pastors as well. Papa Steve yep. Stewart from Impact Nations mm-hmm. has been with us and, and to have a, a really nice uh, lunch with a, a number mm. of senior leaders yep. in the body of Christ and just reflecting on the ministry of Impact Nations and, and evangelism mm. and seeing the kingdom advance and equipping the saints, particularly with that five-word sentence that he's got, may I pray, pray for, for you. you. Yeah. Yeah. May I, I pray like that. for you. Five words, five words, five easy words. Amen. And he was reminding us again, 95 to 97%, depending on the study that you, you watch, um, say that up to 97% of believers will not actually utter those words outside mm. of the security of their home mm. or their local church. In other words, 
is only about three to five yeah. percent of people actually outside of the home. You need to break that church, weapon out. Mm. Actually yep. asking, can I pray for you? And Pastor Tony, mm. you just gave us that beautiful picture of opportunities to be praying for people um, in in uh, the Banksia Centre where your <clears throat> gathering is. I love that it's the Banksia Centre. It's the community centre. It's mm. not the Baptist Church of such and such or the mm. Independent, you know, Church of so and so. It's yep. it's the community centre, mm. and the people of God just happen to meet there. Uh, you know, throughout the week and mm-hmm. and, uh, and serve a community. That's a great thing. Mm. Well, it's been fun for us. And people yeah. have found their way there in the most peculiar ways. In the most peculiar ways. And you've got a story on that too. Can oh, we, can come we on, get them? Come on, let's, oh, let's get let's straight into that, that one. Yes, this crazy. was a few, a few Sundays ago. Um, every <clears throat> We do this, this morning tea that we have. I shared about that before uh, on Thursday mornings. But we thought once a month, we could, oh no, every couple of months, we have what we call it in the community Sunday, where church is a bit simplified. We actually mm. moved it to an earlier time yeah. so that we could put on a morning tea. <clears throat> for anyone that was just going past and you know we again we haven't done any heavy 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 advertising on any of that stuff yet we're just practicing yep uh, getting people you know secure with having morning tea outside the building you know on a on a potential footpath so to speak <clears throat> but anyway the the morning tea went on and a lady arrived with her dog Nice big dog. I'm not a dog person, so I don't know what sort of dog it was, but it was a nice big dog. They had four legs, but you know, yep. it was a walk out dog. <laughs> and, and she arrived, <clears throat> and that led to her being prayed for. She had some real needs, and, and I don't know what those needs were. I, I wasn't part of the prayer, and it was lovely that, that some of our folk were willing to engage in the conversation and, and offer those <clears throat> words of, can I pray for you? Yeah. I think she actually beat us to the punch and said, I need prayer. Wow. wow. But she got there because she told us the story. She got there because she was in bed and I think she may, you know, struggle with some anxiety or depression type things. I don't know. I'm just guessing there. But she was in bed mid-morning, <clears throat> one Sunday morning, only a few weeks ago, and the dog comes in with its lead and impressing upon her that the dog wants to go for a walk. Wouldn't, wouldn't leave her alone until she got the harness on, I guess threw some clothes on and went for a walk. Now, she was not able to take the dog for a walk. The dog took her for a walk and she said, it wouldn't let me go anywhere except straight here to the Banksia Centre. What? So one of my congregation members heard that story and they said, oh, that's a, definitely a God dog. <laughs> a God dog. Well, yeah. You call it a guide dog. That's a real guide dog, yes. <laughs> it's guide news straight to the <laughs> people right. of God. So not only are we instructed to go out and to meet, but God is always way ahead of us. This, for me, this is a God is always way ahead yes, of us thing. Yes. You know, now, were, were we going to find her in her home? Maybe at some stage we would have. But God didn't want her to wait. Yeah, yeah. Now, the people that engaged with her, I don't know that they got, you know, they didn't do the classic thing about let's get your name and address and, you know, we'll follow you up and all that sort of thing. They just, they engaged at the level that she wanted to be engaged. Beautiful. Now, she has since contacted us through our website, wow. our church website, which has you prayer can. requests. Yeah. Yep. So we now have some further contact uh, available. But again, we're not going to hunt her down. We are not going to try and put an agenda yeah. onto her. We are going to be, hopefully, in God's hands, as we believe she's in God's hands, yeah. Yeah. and seeing what God opens up and where that takes us. Amen. That's so you know? good. That's so good. I, I'm, as you're telling the story, I'm thinking, this is Papa Steve, one of the messages he's been giving us has been, uh, you know, stop trying to be Christian. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. Just yeah. be, you know. Yeah. And, and the other thing he said was, I loved it, he says, you know, like, don't, don't be trying to get a word in for the Lord, you know, like, <laughs> as if he... As if he, as if he, he's, he's, oh gee, you know, just get one in there for me. It's like, don't, don't be doing that. Just be the people of God. And obviously, the guys at Grace have got a bit of a handle on that. I, I love it. I've seen it, in, in, um, I've seen it demonstrated for years now. Actually, um, that, uh, that, um, the capacity that, that that those walking with you in grace have just to be able to, you know, sense a need and to be able to, may I pray for you and, and be able to invite the kingdom of God to invite the manifestation of the presence of Jesus in a situation. Mm. And it changes stuff. Mm. And it, it, you know, how many people, can, how, many, how many times do you hear a story of the, 
the, the dog's got the lead. I mean, of course, if you own a dog, it wants to go for a walk, right? Mm. No question about that. Yep. But the whole, and then the dog charges off to the Banksia Centre where there's a gathered group of people who have an inclination and a capacity to pray for people. And all of a sudden, this woman's gone, I need prayer. Uh, you, you can't make this stuff up, you know? It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yep. And it's encouraging girl. to see that. You know, because our transitions haven't been easy. You know, we've we've adopted some models of ministry that aren't, you know, all that conventional. Yep. Um, they're not radical by any means, but they're not they're not your conventional church model type thing. And um, but I think there's a belief that God's trying to gently lead us into things that He wants us to do, rather than us coming up with the strategies again, which the church is very good at doing. And we, we're very good at ex- executing things. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, God created us brilliantly, you know, so yeah. we can do all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But I'd rather be a bit slower and plod along and just see what God opens up G- genuinely, not, not wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Genuinely engage in the process of seeing what God opens up. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's very active. That's yeah. not a passive thing. And yeah. I, we'll just wait till God brings everybody to us. Or yeah. We'll just have prayer meetings. If prayer meetings aren't activating things in people's lives, yeah. I sometimes have to question the validity of some of those prayer meetings. But when you, when you can see God manifesting through people just by being who they are, yeah. yep. they're mm. just followers of Jesus. Yeah. And, you know, so the more we understand that of who we are, mm. And God's not asking us to share anybody else's story. Yes, we can tell other people's stories and stuff, but God's not asking us to be them. He's just asking us to be us. Mm. You know, be genuine about who you are. And be hesitant if you need to. If you're scared to death to say to somebody, look, can I pray for you? Be scared and do it. You know, be hesitant about it. Just be who you are. Because it'll probably be received better than if you try and pluck up some sort of courage to, to... you know, charge into somewhere where you're not comfortable. But, you know, the chicken line's worth stepping over every now and then, you yeah. know, and I'm, I'm a pretty <laughs> yeah. big chicken. Uh, chicken, you know, when it comes to, <laughs> the chicken I'm a pretty line. big chicken, you know. <laughs> I can lay some eggs, I can tell you. <laughs> but, so, what, so what you were saying a, a little while back, just back up mm-hmm. a bit, you, what you basically were saying was that walk with God, not walk, not run in front of him, yeah. walk with him. Yeah. It's good to have a plan. Mm-hmm. You should. Mm-hmm. You should have a plan. Yep. But then, you know, as one pastor said, you always got to keep a hymning in plan. Mm. You got to make mm. sure you refer that plan to him. What mm. do you think? Mm-hmm. You know, take your plans, present them to God, and then involve him in that conversation. Yep. Then, then run. Yeah. <laughs> Be my guess. But make sure you, you know, you've got the, the green flag to go. Mm. You know, and, to, and if you haven't prayed about it, how you know if it's going to work or not? It's just you, a guys roll of dice. Been, <clears throat> you guys have been pursuing unconventional for a while. Mm. I mean, <laughs> probably since the get go, actually. I like because, unconventional. Yes. You know, um, I but know. I, I've been thinking about um, you know the structure of um, uh, facilitating um, the, the the gathering of the church in homes as well as being mm. part of the rhythm of grace mm-hmm. in what you're doing. Mm. Uh, that's unusual. You know, that's mm. not, that's that's uh, unconventional. Um, mm just exploring different ways of being the people of God yep. in their communities. How's, how does that work again, like week in, <clears throat> week out? or how? Yeah, it's, on a, it's basically a two-week cycle. Oh, every, yeah. every second week we, it's called an all-in, Yeah. so there's nothing else offered. You know, church gathering is at the Banksia Centre at 10 o'clock, and yep. you, know, you come to that. Hmm. Every other week is what we call a hybrid week, yep. which is that there is still a gathering at the Banksia Centre, yep. but there are also at least one, more, mostly two, what we call small churches that gather... In homes, yeah, and they they still look at the same scriptures that we we look at at the Banksia Centre. They get the same you know videoed announcements and things, and uh, numbers of those participants would probably even look at you know the recording of our of the, what happened at the Banksia Centre. Mm. But yeah, it's it's a hybrid system. We call it a hybrid yeah. system. Uh, that's not been easy for some to appreciate the flexibility of that. <laughs> but you know, I. I didn't, you know, I, I'm not one that goes up the mountain and gets God's word for the church. Sure. You know, so that's never been me. But I felt no check in my spirit to say, well, you know, why, why can't this be? You know, why, why, yeah. why can't that be part of the way mm. a church operates? Yep. You know, yep. Yep. and some of the testimonies we've had from people that have been, that their preference is the small church gathering. <coughs> yep. They still come in the all-ins. They still come to the Banksy Centre in the all-in Sundays. Yep. But their preference, and you know, to have them with tears in their eyes saying, 
I've never grown so much. Yes, absolutely. You know, as in the last year. You absolutely. Know, that's, that's a beautiful thing. So I, I had no check in my spirit. I wasn't going to wave a flag and say, God's told me that we have to have this system. Mm. I just felt no reason to put a barrier in the way yeah. of, of groups of people mm. within our congregation that are so committed to, to be grace, yeah. Yeah. Um, but in a slightly different way. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. I just didn't, ha- I didn't have a check in my spirit to be afraid of it or mm. to be- think it was wrong in any, any way. So, Your small setting, is, is, it is know. powerful, yep. the anointing still there, but it's more intimate than when you have yeah. that congregational. Mm-hmm. That, that congregational to me is power there. I mean, mm. the congregation is, oh, yeah. when they're in sync, it's huge. Yep. But that intimate mm. feeling, that intimate moment when you have that small group there, things happen. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't call it magic because, I mean, mm. once you know how the trick's done, it's, it's, it's no magic. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know how it's done, but you know mm. what I mean. But the thing, it happens mm. in that intimate setting. Mm. And I love those. I yeah. actually love those. And yes, these are small churches. They are not they are not just small groups. As, mm-hmm. you know, all small groups could be a church because yeah. the notion is that, that they are a missional group of people, of Christians that are thinking yeah. about, yeah. praying yeah. about who they can reach out to. Yep. Um, and, and some of them are the most committed people that come to the outreaches that we do at the Banksy Centre. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not as if they're separating out to become less connected. They're actually yeah. more connected. Absolutely. There are some that exclusively choose to just, I guess, attend church every second week because yeah. small church is, in their own words, what they've been looking for for a long time. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. they're not rejecting grace by not being at the all-ins. Yeah. They're just acknowledging <clears throat> that that's not where I find... Yeah. Listen. my place yeah. to be yeah. who I am. And the, now, that's a very small group of people, that, those ones, yeah. that, that are exclusively choosing small yeah. church as mm-hmm. their only venue. Yeah. Very small. You know, and we're not talking huge numbers. Grace is a small church. It's a small church. And, and so there's some of the struggle is that on a hybrid Sunday, we have less numbers than we do on, a, on an all-in. Yeah. And look, I, you know, I like larger numbers, but we've never been a large numbers church. Sure. But I, I just love whenever the people of God get together, whether it's three of them or whether it's 300 of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've never seen the 300 in grace. But <laughs> yeah. Well, look, like the old quote says, um, you know, never, ever, ever think that a small band of people can do big things yeah. Yeah. because it's the only thing they ever ask. Yeah. yeah. So and, yep. to, not, not concerned about that yeah. at all. So, and, uh, yeah. so, yeah, so love... the model's still in development, I guess. Hmm. Um, well, uh, what I love is that, you know, the church figured out we need to be online during COVID. Yeah, we, amen. We were forced to do that. Yes. And, and by and large, to different degrees, it's be- become quite a, quite a, uh, uh, an essential package mm. of what, what it is to be the people of God yes. in a local setting. Yep. And, and a number of churches, uh, I remember uh, Pastor Kev Sheehan, when he was heading up the the mm-hmm. um, Coast Community guys had a similar vision of hybrid of, of 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 just bringing into their strategy the the house church type model mm-hmm. of call it that um, Miriam as you know the state leader yep. of the Salvos she's yep. had pre COVID had the vision of community tables, tables which mm. is mm. another way in which the Salvos mm. embrace this model of, of of house church as well mm. and and then you know that seems to be becoming a, a just as an essential part as online community as yep. gathered worshiping community and yep. on sunday mornings and and when the senior leader has courage enough like in our context with miriam your context mm. with grace and and coast when they've got courage enough to say not concerned about you know um uh, you know, people disappearing off the off the radar, or not, you know, actually prepared to trust, you know, people to to walk together as a faith community in their homes, and and to still be part of us. When a senior leader can say, this still represents Grace Community, this mm. still represents the Salvos, this still represents what we're trying to do at Coast Community, other places as well. It gives permission mm. for things to flourish and, and, and thrive. Mm. And you do hear mm. the testimonies of, oh, I'm at home. I mean, mm. if you had asked mm. Dan, my wife, you know, um, of, of all of her church life experience, the house church community table expression that we have in the Salvos, 
it, it's the thing that floats her boat. She's mm. most fully alive because everyone brings something mm. to the table. Mm. Everyone mm. ministers to each other. There's no, yep. you know, the Bible study leader or the. Mm-hmm. What, it's actually everyone contributing in the body of Christ. Together. It's yeah. Community, yeah, exactly. Yes, <clears throat> and yeah, it's no. truly a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, you know, praise God because when when like. You know, the dad at, at, at the church, if you like, Pastor Tony goes, you know, this is actually part of the expression of us. Yeah. I, I think it just releases a greater measure of, of reach and, and, and so on in the in mm. the community. So these are good days, aren't they? Amen. Yeah, yeah. We are sitting in 16 Dyer Crescent, West Gospel. <laughs> that is our brand new space. Uh, the, the doors are open. The morning tea is on. Leanne Broom has cooked Ooh, up good. a storm. <laughs> it looks good. <clears throat> I got to say, and uh, and Craig sampling all of them slowly. <laughs> you just need to if you if you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I had one slice. I've had one I saw slice. Your, I saw you eyeing the rest of them though. Yeah, I'm going back. <laughs> Sixteen dire credit, West Gosford. <laughs> If you can't make it in today, we're open tomorrow and Sunday. We'd love for you to pop in and have a look, donate, have a look around his food. You can give us a bus to 4367-4042. Hit us on the website, rima.cc, or on the app. You can give safety there. And we're just thanking God all week long. Amen. Thank you, Father. Meanwhile, just stay listening to Rima CC because we <laughs> are coming live at you in the outdoor studio broadcast Space that's located in the middle of the new re- the the indoor new outdoor studio. <laughs> that's right, indoor outdoor. indoor outdoor. That's right. Yes, we've got the incredible, amazing, my buddy and kingdom giant and father in our region, Pastor Tony Ray, uh-huh. with us again. Who talking about Evan then? <laughs> oh, he goes all right too. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. My mind was on the spa room. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because we're in the new venue. So we're thinking about putting and, a spa and, in there, a spa yeah, room. Yeah, Re- remedial therapy. No, no <laughs> self-respecting radio station should, it should be without a spa. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're honestly, right. I mean, you want a good spa, get in there. <laughs> and uh, if you want to donate to the spa, it, we are <laughs> taking donations. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. We're not putting the spa in here. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, I was, no, no, I was no, sold. No, 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 At no, least no. in the shed. No, no. <laughs> At least in the shed. <laughs> no, that shed needs to be plugged up a bit there. There's so. a spray booth out there. Or, or it is, too. It is. Well, you it's, could it's adapt a, that. It's a full-on you spray booth. You could adapt that. You enterprise. Could that. An enterprise. Why not? Why not? Bring so, your car. Bring your table. This year's theme is stretch here yes. at Rima, right? Yes, it uh, is. The, the appeal, the mm. November appeal. Every November we focus in on let's get some funds into the ministry of Rima because this is the unifying voice, I think, across the Central Coast. We've got listeners from every stream, from every background, uh, and every other fellowship that exists uh, on the Central Coast. And so it's opportunity to give. We want that to happen because last year when we did the focus, we knew we had to move. Right, mm. um, we knew that um, the the Erina location uh, at mm. the Caralta Road area there was just constricting mm. what the ministry could accomplish. You guys were pretty clear on that, and we would there was a big shift, you know, a big a big focus on um, let's let's generate some funding yeah. and what we were able to make happen so that we could relocate. So we're physically sitting in the new we space, in here. right? And and what we're a couple of months out from properly you know, getting up and, and running well, from the side. <laughs> the boss man hasn't actually let out to the public what the actual date is, but I know uh, in his mind as soon as possible. ASAP. So, I mean, I'd say safely we'd be in here before March. Okay. That's safely. Yeah. So that, that's, that's, well, actually, i got to tell the truth. That would have been my preference. <laughs> that would have been my preference to actually prepare to get there, but he had other ideas. So, so it'll be between January and March. I'll just say that. <laughs> so, January, February, March. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, yeah. it'll be before my, my time frame. Yeah. But yeah, he, and he's pushing to get in here. At the so. official, official opening, there'll be donuts all around. Amen. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I'll buy them. Mm. <laughs> wow. T Ray's supply and the, mm-hmm. the, the donuts. Mm-hmm. That's right. Bring them on. So, <laughs> yes, that's happening. If you want to give, and a few people have during this uh, this past hour, 4367 4042. There are three people on the phones now. Uh, or you can head to the website, rima.cc, or also grab the app if you've got it. And don't forget, we're open all weekend. 16 Crescent, West, West Gospel. And I don't know if we mentioned the, the app, but. 
Hmm. The app is really good. Yes. We must see the it. app. You've yes. used it? Yes. I've used it. Yes. It is the radio station in your pocket. That's mm-hmm. right. It's, it's so good. There's yes. all the podcasts. Stuff all the podcasts are up there. There's the programs. There's the live yep. stream. There's the The, the replays articles. up there. There's, yep. There's recipes. Yes, I think there I've are. I've a recipe. There's recipes. There's heaps up there. There's tons and there's more coming. Remus CC. Um, if you haven't got it on your phone, just get it on your phone now because it's great. And you yep. can actually donate via that too because there's the, yeah, give, again. the give button. It's on the app. There's the give the button. It brings well. you securely to a page. You can give there too as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here you go. So, and to let people know that um, it is Remembrance Day. Mm, so yes, a is. minute before 11, we will actually uh, have a minute of silence. So don't think we've gone off, off air. <laughs> We're not. We're just going to run that and pay our respects. So just be braced for that, folks. Uh, don't want to get caught off guard. So, look, we've got uh, three and a half minutes left. What? Yeah. <laughs> it has gone quick. Me. Time flies when you're having fun. You That's right. Me? Amen. That's ridiculous. Mm. I mean, I, I need to appeal that because I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I talk too much. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But three and a half minutes left. First off, Tony, thank you for being our first guest here in the new <laughs> How about place. That? I mean, How about that? It, it's fitting having you in here. I mean, you've got a lot of seeds in the ground around this, around this place, and you've sown a lot of things into it. And Rick's pick was correct. Get you in here and uh, let you bless this place with your presence this morning. Well, I think it's got real, real potential. Yeah, absolutely. It does. Yeah. yeah. And I know the heart of Rima is to serve the community, not to serve the community and serve the church community. Yeah. So I know that this is going to afford a lot more opportunities to do that too. Yeah. And uh, so can I encourage churches that are listening in, leaders in churches and that to, you know, swing in behind Rima, you know, whether it's financially or in prayer or just in get dropping in and learning more about what Rima's on about, you know, and in, and in the future. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and building a radio station that you want to be part of. Oh, I love that. I love that. You know? It's going to be... Plenty of opportunity, I'm quite sure, um, in in the future to be, you know, partnering with Rima on a whole bunch of different fronts. I mean, mm, that's when, exciting. When, as we've walked through the building, it's actually it seems to me to have been scoped into all the planning. You know, mm-hmm. um, the studio layouts, the the recording studio spaces, the Zoom room, the mm-hmm. you know, um, the office space. It, it all seems yeah. to be. Um, purposefully constructed, yep. put together so that, um, you know, so that it's a resource to the community, it's a resource to the church, yes. and, and actually yeah. can, can uh, meet some real needs. So that's good. That's mm. a good day. I know yeah. often you, you have Zoom meetings you need to get to. Yeah, so right. instead of you scurrying off, but be my guest. Go in. I mean, the whole place is going to be just, just hotted up. So you can walk in here, log onto the net, and be my guest. Uh, I know a few of the things that he's got planned, the boss man's got planned, is if you need to have a meeting, you've got no place to meet, there are rooms available here for you to meet. Mm. Um, there'll be recording rooms. So, you know, if you want to do, if you've got to do some sort of recording for any sort of jingle or commercial or whatnot, come on in, be my guest. Yeah. And there'll also be a green room in here, too. Bring your equipment set up, and there you go, film it until we get our own in there, and then come in and use it. Amen. So we're going to make those things available. Mm. Uh, and Excellent. absolutely no charge whatsoever. Wow. It's wow. for you to use. That's a resource for the people. So we got 60 seconds here. We, number one, we, get, we need to get Tony to pray for us. Mm. Yeah, why don't we spend that time? Yeah. Pastor sure. Tony Ray, Grace yeah. Community. We, we love that you, 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 know, you lead a, a substantial faith community, believers who love Jesus and uh, have been so supportive of the ministry, rima.cc. Um, yeah, it'd be great to, to have you pray. Yeah, uh, 40 for seconds. Blessing on, <laughs> yeah. on this ministry. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lord Jesus, your grace is sufficient. Amen. Your love is sufficient. Jesus. Yes. And we just ask for your grace to abound over yes. every congregation yes. on the coast, yes. over every believer on the central coast, yep. over ministries like Rima, <clears throat> that they, we would be avenues of your love Amen. and your grace and your wonderful yes. message of Jesus Christ and what he's accomplished for mm. us, that we would be uh, conduits of that. Yeah. So, Lord Jesus, let your grace abound in each of our lives, in each congregation, in yes. every ministry that honors the name of Jesus. And we thank you because we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week, folks. You've been listening to an encore presentation of New Expressions, which can be heard live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. on 94.9 Rima Central Coast.